creeping, blowing boldly, and in the morning it is there, mist over the city, crisp and clean across the playing pitch, broken by the shins of the early riser, or churned by the wheels of the bicycle, even as it masks the warm excess of the bicyclist's breath. It will be hours yet before sunlight burns away the still flood of this tiny rain. We have that long to walk from here to home, and how we need it, young lovers being amongst the slowest to pace a mile. Back on the square, we could have hailed a cab. Why didn't we? Plenty of empty cars, we could have taken one. Been warm and dry and home by now, but what about it? Dragging out of the city, we are a happy nuisance until the rain arrives. Vertical, molecular, driving off the fog unexpectedly. Whole sheets of the stuff slicing in from across the ocean. Clothes cannot keep it out. Your gridiron scarf in complicated reefs and bows cannot keep it out. Only the arch of the cathedral shelters us. The shower lasting the length of a long kiss. Seen from an old movie we might have watched. The pacing perfect. The rest of the walk uneventful. Um, when I was putting together the poems I was going to read tonight, I discovered to my surprise that I seem to write an awful lot about rain. Of course, you would know I was from Limerick. But um, this, is about, uh, this is about rain in my city of chosen exile, and it's called Galway in a Storm. The sky black, night black in day, and later the wind knocking out the streetlights on Newcastle. Hail garnishing the paving wet. Bare poplars swaying like stick figure foxtails upended. The rivers all run brown. The canals and other channels too. The earth is bleeding the earth. The lock is wind dimpled. But things are rougher by the arch. High water thundering through the strait and the slippies and the city slipping another foot or two into the bay. Sandbags line Key Street like sleeping dogs on master stoop. And this is the front, seething atomic swell, where great chunks of ocean are hurled nightward to crystallize jagged in the air. The cold here is not an earthly cold, it is fiercer, whipping the skin into cracked pancakes, like an arctic hand strangling the night, corings of blue ice left where its fingers have drilled the dark. And yet, by midnight, the storm is broken with stillness. The sea has shrugged off all interest in pursuit, and hurrying over the bridge, a high collar makes her home. A blade of leather fatigued green by freezing rain, a flat cap low and darned with frosty thread, the wind having said what needed to be said.